How's it going guys? We're back with another Skyrim skill series episode and today is going to be heavy armor. Now first to get our heavy armor up you're going to want to come to the guardian stones and get the warrior stone so that heavy armor progresses 20% faster. And now that we got that I'm going to be showing the first set of heavy armor which is iron heavy armor. Nothing too crazy. And then right now my heavy armor is at 43, but we're just going to be going over some basic heavy armor sets first when it comes to the steel smithing perk and smithing. These are the heavy armor sets that you can acquire. This is the steel heavy armor. And then this is the imperial heavy armor. You can craft this once you have the steel smithing perk. And then you have to be done proving honor to be able to get the heavy armor set from the Companions Guild, which is the wolf armor. Once you're done that quest, you can come and talk to this guy at the Skyforge and buy the wolf armor set. It's probably my least favorite heavy armor set in the whole game. I think it just looks ridiculous, but you got to show them all, right? And then also guys, with the Soulstime Dragonborn DLC edition, you can craft Bone Mold. This is what the Bone Mold set looks like, and also the Chaitin set, which is this. Also, some of my least favorite armors in the game, I will admit. And now we're heading over here to Misenschulft. And this is to get the Falmer armor. In the base game, this is a unique armor. This is the only location that you can find it in the whole game. So just come to this ruin and then make your way all the way down. And this is towards about the last 80% of the dungeon. You're going to come up into this room where there's a fountain and then this tall spire. And when you come up to the top of this spire, you press this button to continue on with the dungeon, but then turn right around come through this locked door and then turn to your right and you will find the unique set which is the Falmer armor and this is heavy armor but not to be confused with the heavy Falmer armor added by the Dawn Guard DLC so you can get this and this is what it looks like it looks like the light version of the two but it is still heavy armor and then also because of the Dawn Guard DLC you will find these guys running around in the Dwemer Ruins, and you can get the heavy Falmer armor set from these guys. And then, this is what that armor set looks like. It is the better of the two. And then while we're on the topic of the Dawnguard DLC, to get the Dawnguard heavy armor, you're going to want to come to Fort Dawnguard. And then you have to have sided with the Dawn Guard, and you need to have acquired Gunmar, and then he will sell you this heavy Dawn Guard armor set, which is one of my favorite armors in the whole game by far. I absolutely love the way that this armor looks. And then you can ask Gunmar to trade, and he will also have uh, different colored versions gray, brown, blue, and also the light set. Now, for this next set of armor, you're going to need to have completed Alduin's Wall. And then this is just in the Skyhaven Temple. And then once you have unlocked that quest and you have the Blades hideout, then just in this room in the chest over here is the Blades armor. Grab all that. And this is what it looks like. Just totally, totally awesome. Kind of has like a samurai look to it. Now we're coming over here to Forlhost, and this is one of the very few places in the game that you can get the ancient Nordic armor sets. You're going to come up here, this guy's going to ask you to retrieve a staff for him. But anyways, once you come inside, you're going to be greeted by these goats, and each one of these goats has the ancient Nordic armor set on them. Definitely one of the cooler 
looking suits of heavy armor and now that we covered the base set of ancient nordic we're going to be covering the unique set of ancient nordic so you're going to want to come to the island of solstheim and come to Coldjorn borough you're going to talk to rallis and start the quest unearthed and you're gonna have to pay him some money it's make money. a couple of multiple visits paying a little bit what? more money each time thousand gold. gold and then you're just gonna find one piece of the armor it's at a time i'm not gonna hold your hand yeah, and walk through this whole ruin like that's in my dragonborn completion guide if you want to watch that but long story short once you make your way all the way down and acquire all the pieces of azadal's outfit i will show you the suit of armor one of the best armors in the game. This is Azadol's Armor of Retribution, which enemies have a chance of being paralyzed. Azadol's Boots of Water Walking, which allows you to walk on water. And then the Gauntlets, which allow you to absorb 50% of oncoming spells. And then the Helmet, which lets you cast rune spells further. And when you wear the four pieces of armor, it allows you the ability Azadol's Genius, which increases your enchanting by 10, which is crazy. So if you have 100 enchanting and you wear those four pieces of armor without the rings, your enchanting can be 110. And this is what it looks like. Just the same as the base ancient Nordic armor, as you probably guessed. And then moving on from steel smithing, now we're on Dwarven. So for the Dwarven heavy armor set, this is what it looks like. And then you can also get a unique headpiece, and you have to be on the island of Solstheim and come to this Dwarven Ruin. And this is for the Vistage of Mazund, which allows you a unique Steam Breath ability, so you're going to want to just come here, come through these doors. I won't hold your hand through the whole Ruin, but once you come to the far end, you will find this little trophy on the table. And then don't forget this little gem, but once you equip the Vistage of Mazan, it increases your stamina and also gives you this ability that is basically like a dragon shout, but steam. Go into your powers, equip that, and this is what it looks like. Super cool set of dwarven armor. And now we're moving from Dwarven onto Orcish armor. So this is what the heavy Orcish armor set looks like. Again, not one of my favorite armor sets, but looks okay. And then after that, we are headed over here to Advanced Armors. And once you have the Advanced Armor perks, that allows for two sets, which is the Steel Plate Armor in the Steel category, which is this, the outfit I use in basically all my skill videos. I absolutely love it, one of my favorite. And also the Nordic Armor set. This is the Nordic Armor set, and it looks super, super awesome also. And moving from Orcish Smithing over to Ebony Smithing, this is what the Ebony Heavy Armor set looks like. And then while we are on the topic of the Ebony Armor, I will show you the unique Ebony chest piece. You want to come over here to the Shrine of Boethia. And then get a follower that you don't really care about. And then tell them to grab the pillar in the middle. And then once this happens, then you sacrifice them to Boethia. All for a piece of armor. You are nothing. Haha. -ha. And then she will give you a fun task to carry out. Oh, the last one standing, it's gonna be me. Sorry, kids. Haha. -ha. You are nothing. I'm the dragon board. And then once that is done, You will send you over to Knife Point Ridge, and then you're going to want to kill the previous champion, and on his body you will find Ebony Mail, which allows you to move more quietly, and also while you are crouched, it will deal poison damage to nearby enemies, which is super awesome. This is a definite must for all sneak thief builds. And then once you have unlocked the ebony category you have to have completed the fate of the skull and then you can smith 
the Stallroom Heavy Armor at the Skull Village. You will be sent to save this blacksmith at one point after you complete that mission, and then he will give you the ability to forge this armor. Super awesome set. And then moving from Ebony to Daedric, this is actually the best heavy armor in the game for defense. It actually does more than Dragonbone. One of my absolute favorites. Looks totally awesome. No one can argue that. And that's what that looks like. And then moving from Daedric to Dragon Armor. This is the heavy Dragon Bone Armor. The head piece of this armor is probably my favorite looking armor in the whole game. For all head pieces anyways. Now guys, we are going to be headed into the boosting heavy armor part of this video, and there are two ways. The way that is slower is this way, and if you don't have your enchanting to 100 or your restoration up, then you can do this way, so you're going to want to equip any old healing spell in any hold, and then get everybody upset at you, and then just let them attack you while you cast your healing spells, you know, until you have no health left. And you're out of magic and then you're gonna want to surrender to them once you're out of magic and your health is kind of low and then after they get you in trouble you can just pay the fine you'll teleport outside and then you can just go back inside and keep doing it but this is the slow way for the fast way you're gonna want to come to a giant camp and you will need your enchanting to 100 for this method. I have a video on that if you want to check the channel. But anyways, you're going to want a suit of armor and on a helmet, chest piece, a necklace, and a ring. You're going to want restoration spells cost 25% less to cast. So that it's 100% less to cast and it doesn't cost anything to cast restoration spells. So if you have those four things equipped, then none of your healing spells will cost anything. And then equip the healing spell that heals you the most. And then you're going to want to antagonize these two giants. And just let them both beat on you. And this is the absolute fastest way to get your heavy armor up. You're just going to want to spank fest going of giants. Just get them behind you and let them spank you, kick you in the butt. And then paddle you in the butt see that right there boom and once the spank fest gets you to level 95 we're going to be getting five skill books the first is in morthal and you're going to want to come into the guard house and then once you come inside here pick the lock just beside the fireplace on the right, hidden and tucked away as skill books usually are, is the first out of five heavy armor skill books. Now we're coming over here to this unnamed location. It's just outside of Yerbestead. Follow the path and you'll find this little waterfall where this fallen tree is. And then you're going to want to come under here. There will be some dead storm cloaks and on one of them they will have this skill book. So go into your books and read that, and boom. Second out of five heavy armor skill books. Now for the third, you're going to want to come into Whiterun. And this one's actually in the Companions Guild. Come inside here, turn to your right, and just on this table at the end is the third skill book. And now we're coming over here to this Orcus Stronghold, just near Ark and Thumbs. And once you come in here, you're going to want to make your way into the cellar. If you're not friendly with the Orcs, you're going to have to pick this lock secretly. And then come in here, make your way down. And then just on this table here, boom. And then for the final one, you're going to want to come over here in the north, just near one of these stones, but it's not quite at the stone. There's the College of Winterhold in the background, little glacier there, an ancient Nordic ruin, 
and then just on this glacier is this skeleton with this flag where we find the final heavy armor skill book five out of five boom and now we're going to be going over the perks in heavy armor if you need perks you can follow my alteration video for easy unlimited perks but anyways the bottom five juggernaut so we can increase our armor rating by 100 percent fists of steel which makes the defense of your gauntlets actually deal damage in unarmed form and then cushion which lets you take half the falling damage if you're wearing a full heavy armor set and then conditioning which makes heavy armor actually weigh nothing while you are wearing it which is one of the best perks in the heavy armor category and then we're moving on to well fitted which is a 25 percent armor bonus if you're wearing all heavy armor tower of strength which is 50 percent less stagger while wearing heavy armor matching set which is an additional 25 percent armor bonus if it's the same set of heavy armor and then finally reflect blows which is a 10 percent chance to reflect melee damage onto the person if it's a full heavy armor set and that's it for this video guys i hope you liked it i got lots coming and i will catch you in the next one peace